Good morning, wherever you are in the world. My name is Lauren O'Connell and my videos help you to stylize your perfect skincare wardrobe. Now I'm in my bathroom, I'm having a little issues with these angles, but I'm doing my morning skincare routine with you. And I have a video of me doing my morning skincare routine at 36 years old, one at 37 years old, and now I'm 38 and I'm keeping the tradition going. I do have my ring light on behind me and I want to show you why. It's because I have this tiny window with frosted glass that does not offer me a lot of natural light. So I decided to lug in my ring light. I have extension cords going down. It looks ridiculous, but let's just keep going. I do want to show you what my skin looks without the light, just for full disclosure. And like I said, I'm 38. I do not have any Botox. I do not have any fillers. And I think that's it. My skin is dry. So my main issue is just around my eyes when I smile. Get these little lines and sometimes they stay. I am getting a little bit of emerging crow's feet, which is kind of driving me nuts. So the first thing I do every morning is after I shower, throw in my hair turban. This is one of those rapid dry towels. It does work. I have a video on it. I'll link it down below. And I do my new face. I'm going to spare you the new face tutorial because I do have two on my channel right now. The new face is done. I washed off all of that conducting gel that was on my face with my Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Cleanser. This is my absolute favorite cleanser in the world. It's so good if you have dry skin like me. And for the new face, I have both attachments, the ELE, which is for the eyes and lips, and this one right here, these globes, is for the neck and the face. So the first thing I put on every morning after my new face is my vitamin C serum. And I go back and forth. I use the Biosan Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. And I also use this Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. This is actually my one month review. is my top video on my channel of this product. So this uses sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a very, very stable version of vitamin C. All the ingredients in here are good for the skin. There's nothing in there that's bad. A lot of vitamin C serums contain alcohol, the bad kind, pro-drying alcohols, denatured alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. That's going to ruin your skin. So I am very much into my ingredients and everything I'm showing you this morning only has the best ingredients out there. So this serum also contains ferulic acid, which helps to keep the vitamin C stable. And, it can, and the ferulic acid also helps to boost the effect of the vitamin C. It also contains sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant that will plump up all those little fine lines and wrinkles that I have around my eyes. After my vitamin C serum, I have been using and love this. It's by the Inky List. This is the Snow Mushroom. They're calling this a moisturizer, but to be honest, to me, I use it more as a serum. And you know, I do have very dry skin. So for me, it's completely okay to use this as a serum. It's like a gel. And snow mushroom is a humectant as well. So it's going to, once again, plump up those little fine lines, the wrinkles, the marionette lines. And for me, I have seen it work so well with my skin and I have noticed a difference in using it. You will see online if you research it that it's not as strong as sodium hyaluronate. However, it's a much more mo smaller molecular size so it penetrates deeper into the skin and because of that you'll notice the effect a little bit more. So this Inky List product is amazing. I will link it down below and it is so cheaply priced. After that, I put on my eye serum, and this is the Biosense Squalane and Peptide Gel. And this says it helps to visibly reduce puffiness in dark circles. I can't remember, I believe I have an ingredients analysis of this on my channel somewhere. I use only the smallest amount. And I like this because it really does help to even out the discoloration underneath my eyes. They tend to get a little bit bluish around this area. And I mean, my skin is so fair, so it you know quite easily can look discolored, I guess you would say. So I feel that this has made a difference. And 
I like to give it a little special attention around those emerging crow's feet because this gel does contain peptides and peptides help to stimulate the collagen production. They're actually quite sneaky. They send little messages to your brain and they tell the brain that there's an injury so your brain produces more collagen to just make it, to make everything more, or to fix it and then in the, I can't talk, <laughs> to fix that area and then that's going to end up building more collagen and it's going to help us just retain that youthful look. Now, moving on, I think I need another coffee. I then use my Mad Hippie Eye Cream and this product has peptides, ceramides, and it has lots of antioxidants. Pomegranate and white tea, which I think are gonna be two ingredients we're gonna hear a lot about this year. Ceramides help to keep our skin barrier intact and keep that moisture in. And then the peptides, once again, my opinion, you can never have too many peptides. And I mean, I do have some of the fine lines around my eyes, but I am 38 years old with no Botox, no fillers. So I feel like it's done a pretty good job for me so far. And that is the eyes. Now moving on to the face, the moisturizer. This one's pretty expensive. A lot of the products I'm showing you are actually more on the, the lower side. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have good skincare products, but um, this one is expensive, but I have yet to find a moisturizer I like better. This is by Drunk Elephant. This is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream. Once again, getting tons of those peptides and I actually should do an ingredients analysis on this. I haven't, but everything in here is really good for the skin. And this cream, I think just has really helped my skin maintain just its elasticity and helped it to also um, give it, or I'm sorry, I can't talk. It's also just helped it to retain its firmness. So. For me, this is worth the price. I believe it's $68 in the US, right? So yeah, it's expensive, but you know what? It's a good one. You know what? Someone commented once, always go up. And I put this all over my neck and my chest. And actually, I don't know why. I must be because I'm wearing this robe, but typically when I do my morning skincare, I'm wearing one just a towel, and I'll usually put the vitamin C, the snow mushroom all over my chest as well, because I like to treat my neck and my chest the same way that I treat my face. I'm going to finish off with my SPF. This is the Nemu Sun C SPF 40. My favorite, one of my top two favorites, I should say, uh, SPF cream. Now this is thick. This is great for dry skin. If you don't have access to Nemu, it is a South African brand. I know it's hard to find. There's a brand I also love called Super Goop and that you can find in the USA. And they have a sun cream, a sunblock called Play. I use the SPF 50. I will link that one down below too. I just buy the Nemu because it's here, it's available in Dubai, it's easy for me to get, more or less, and it does a great job on my skin. Now, I do wear SPF 50 all over my entire body every day, including my neck and my chest, but I do like to add more. And I do also uh, reapply during the day. Go up. Hope that lady doesn't see this video. So, one thing I've been doing lately, because it is so cold outside, it's been 65, 70, which to me these days is the equivalent of it being 20 degrees outside. My blood has really thinned out living in the Middle East, is I always put some oil on top to finish it off. My skin just needs it. It's so dry. I am not picky with oil. I like argan oils. I like marula oil. I like maracuja oil. I do not use tea tree oil because that one is going to be drying on my skin. And I do not use rosehip oil during the day because that contains vitamin A. And I never put vitamin A on my skin during the day. So the ones that I have right now are this Tarte Maracuja oil, which I really like. And also the Josie Moran Pure Argan Oil, which I also like. These are two good ones. So lately I've just been using the Josie Moran and that's because I ran out of other ones I had and I quite like this one. So I thought, you know what, I guess I'll go on a little Argan Oil kick. So 
put it just in my hands and I just press it into my skin. Oh, my skin loves this so much. I cannot even tell you how dry I am. And it's not dehydrated. It's just dry. It's always been my thing in life is dry skin. And what's kind of funny is my mom had severe acne as a child. She has very oily skin. But hers paid off because she's 70 now and she has the skin of a 45 year old. It's unbelievable. So that is my morning skincare routine. And I will link everything down below. And in the meantime, why don't you check out my evening skincare routine right here?